Hey guys, welcome to Undercover, the channel where we teach you everything you need to know about covering a song. My name is Isabel and I play guitar in Undercover. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to figure out a chord progression for the song that you want to learn. A chord is any combination of notes played simultaneously, and a chord progression is the sequence or order with which those chords are played. Figuring out chord progressions can be really tough, so like Jeanette said in the last video, you'll want to listen carefully to the song over and over until you can hear the part clearly in your head. Pay close attention to how many different chords you hear, and also to how frequently those chords change. For example, in the song Chinese New Year by Sales, there are only two chords that repeat over and over, and they change every eight beats or every two measures. I'm going to play through the song to show you what I mean. One, two, three, four. understand the basic structure of the chord progression, it's time to figure out what notes are actually being played. My first strategy is usually to play through the chords and shapes that I already know, and then play them along with the song and use my ear to see if any of them fit. figure out the chords by ear, I look them up using resources like ultimateguitar.com. Websites like this will give you both chords and tabs, so let's quickly review how to read a chord chart and a tab sheet. This is an example of a tab that you might find for the opening riff of Chinese New Year. This one's courtesy of Ultimate Guitar. The numbers on the tab indicate what fret each note is on, and the lines on the tab indicate what string each note is on. So this tab is telling me to play the A string, fifth fret, five times and then the A string 7th fret two times. And you can see it even groups numbers together to dictate rhythm. Here's a tab that the undercover team created for our arrangement, for when the chords come in during the song. When notes are stacked on top of each other in a tab, it means that they're played at the same time. And remember, combinations of notes played simultaneously are called a chord. In this case, the tab wants me to play the 7th fret D string, the 6th fret G string, and the 7th fret B string. And that's the first chord in the song. You might also find a chord sheet like this. This sheet tells you what chords are played in correspondence with what lyrics, but it doesn't tell you how to play those chords. However, if you were to look up how to play a D chord, for example, you would find something like this. This chart is just the neck of the guitar flipped 90 degrees. So the leftmost string is the low E string, and the rightmost string is the high E string. The circles tell you where to put your fingers on the fretboard. So in a D chord, we're putting our first finger on the G string 2nd fret, our second finger on the E string 2nd fret, and our third finger on the B string 3rd fret. If you play them all simultaneously, that's your D chord. And that's how you read a chord chart. Now that you know how to find and read chords and tabs, it's up to you to do your research, use your ear, and practice playing new shapes. Have fun!